Alrighty here, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So a, a few things, a few house notes here. So what I've done here, so basically this is a ThinkPad X1 tablet. Uh, the reason why I chose this guy is because it has an internal fan. Typically when you take or you have a gaming laptop or you have a laptop and you're taking this guy on the go, you have a computer that has a graphics card or has some type of gaming functionality because this is meant towards a gaming streamer. However, gaming streamers also have computers that have fans because they have graphics. So because of that, I wanted to try to emulate what it would sound like if you were to take this guy on the go with you. So there will be some, some background fan noise to simulate kind of what it would sound like if you had a GPU on your particular laptop or your, your, your traveling laptop with you. So that way you can get an idea of how this guy will sound and perform even though you have a fan going in the background. And then we're also gonna do one on the desktop as well because those will be the kind of the two places where you'll use it. So starting off, as far as the installation goes, it's pretty straightforward. You basically just plug this guy into the USB port. Um, this guy doesn't have any USB ports, it's just USB-C. So I basically have a USB to USB-C dongle. And once you power it on, you will notice that the light there, you see it turning green. That lets you know that it is on. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and go to the mic settings. So you just want to go and right click on your mic and hit open sound settings. Once you do that, uh, you want to go to your microphone and make sure that it is seeing the siren. So if you look there, it's showing the siren mini and you can actually test it and see exactly where it's at. Uh, this is actually relatively good. Don't expect it to be somewhere down here in this area. That's a bit too much. Um, ideally, you want it to be somewhere around here. That way you can bump up the audio in post or you can bump up the audio during the actual stream. And I'll show you that here in a second. But it automatically switched to the Razer Siren Mini, as you can see there. And just by me talking, it's actually able to pick that up. So, so that looks to be just fine. As far as adding it as an input source for vMix, for OBS, and for XSplit, we're just gonna go ahead and start here with OBS. There we go. So, so that is for the mic auxiliary mic, but we're gonna go ahead and add the input source and we're going to call it a audio input capture and hit okay for create a new. And then we select the device and we just choose the siren right there. And we're gonna hit okay. Alrighty. And now that we have the audio input capture here, we can also click on it to change the name. So we're just going to highlight it here rename, and we're gonna call this Razer S-E-I-R-E-N. Okay, I'll misspell it too, <laughs> Razer Siren. Alrighty, cool. So so uh, we basically, when we were looking at the mic there, we were actually looking at the mic on the uh, internal laptop. But if you look at the Razer Siren itself, and I'm actually very far away from the actual mic, I'm not like right up on it. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I would say about, uh, two and a half feet away from the actual mic. And it's picking it up relatively well here. You can see here at maxed out, you're somewhere around negative 28 to negative 20, which means that you need to get a little bit closer in. So I'm just gonna scoot up a little bit here. And, oh, sorry, the mic is no longer in the picture. So if you scoot up a little bit and you get a little, get up a little bit closer here, you can see that it's actually somewhere around negative 20 to negative 18, somewhere in that area, it's negative 20 to negative 15, just from me basic talking. So what I would say to this here is that you may need to boost it. And to do that, what we wanna do is we wanna go on the Razer Siren here and we wanna make sure that we're looking at the Razer Siren, which is gonna be the one at the top. And we're going to click on the settings and then we're gonna to go to the advanced audio properties. Here we can go ahead and go down to the Razer Siren and we can increase the decibel level, okay? So it looks like it's around negative 20 to negative 18 just from here. So if we wanted to get to negative 12, we would essentially increase it by about seven to eight uh, for it to be actually pretty good here. So we're just gonna go uh, just eight and then hit close. Alrighty. And see if you can look there. So so now it's it's much much better here. So you can see there it's right in the yellow, exactly where you want it to be, somewhere between a negative uh, 15 and a negative 10. Not getting into the red, not, not not peaking, but it's doing very very well, which is exactly what you want to see here. So it looked like it needed a little bit of boost. So now I'm going to stop talking here, so we can see exactly what is picking up in the ambient. 
All right, that's pretty good. So what, what I was doing there is I stopped talking and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to see the fan itself, what it would actually show in the ambient. So I'm sorry, this slid down a little bit and got me nervous. So the fan is actually showing to be somewhere around negative 55 decibels, which is actually pretty low. So you may not even be able to hear it. Like if somebody is listening to it, like on a cell phone or something like that, they may not even be able to hear the actual fan noise, which is actually pretty good. Um, and this is just like a regular old standard setup with a fan. Uh, uh, internal fan cooling and me just testing the mic. We can see here that it's somewhere between negative 12, or I'm sorry, negative 15 and negative 10. And then on top of that, when we're not talking, the actual fan noise is somewhere around negative 50 decibels, which is very, very good. It, it looks like it's, it's very suitable for, um, if there's any type of fan noise, it should be able to drown it out relatively well. Alrighty, and we're back here. So now what we're gonna be doing as, as now we are done with OBS, we're gonna be moving on to XSplit. Now XSplit is a little bit of a different animal. It doesn't actually show or have a game that you can really play with, but what what you want to do here is you want to make sure that the razor siren is the one that's being seen. In order to do that, you want to go up to your tools and then go to your settings. And then now that you're in your settings, you want to click on audio. And then for microphone, you want to make sure that the Razer Siren Mini is selected. Ideally, it's going to be set as the default microphone. Uh, well, it will be set to the default microphone uh, as far as XSplit is concerned. You want to change that and just make sure you have it set as the Siren Mini. I don't like leaving it as the default microphone because if you plug something into it, it can mess up exactly what your settings are. So just go ahead and set it to the device that it actually is. Now, when it comes to the volume range, you can actually increase this, for example and hit apply and it will actually take that input. However, what I've seen in my testing is that it doesn't actually affect the actual gain itself. So for this, we're not going to actually change the volume here. That's not ideal. So what we're gonna do here, so now that we've actually left it at 100% and we know that it's set to the siren, what you wanna do here is you wanna click where it says open audio mixer. When you click this guy, and just give it a second here to pop up. Alrighty, so now we can see that the um, the actual audio here is extremely low, so we're gonna go ahead and max that out. But even when it's maxed out, we can actually see here that we're nowhere near where we wanna be, which is somewhere around negative 12. So what we're gonna do here, because we can't go much higher than 100% in X split, we're gonna go ahead and lower this guy down to about 50. Uh, 61, that's fine. And now we're gonna go into the actual audio settings of Windows and let Windows take care of it. So now we're gonna go to the open sound settings. And then for the microphone, the Razer Siren Mini, we're gonna go down to device properties. And then we're gonna change the volume to 100%, okay? So now the volume is, is maxed out as far as the settings here on Windows goes. And now you can leave it to X split to control how, how you want it set up. So now you can see here, now now we have an actual boost here. So we're, now we're really somewhere between negative 12 and like negative five. So I would say we would wanna lower this here to around, 50 if we can actually get there. So we're gonna do somewhere around 50. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, so that looks to be pretty good here. So uh, so basically you would just kind of tweak this in order to get it exactly where you wanna go and and not go too much higher than where it needs to be and make sure that you're not peaking. So, so this right here is a little bit higher. So you, I would say somewhere around here would be pretty good. And now we have it similar to what you have on OBS, but with XSplit without having to go over 100% on XSplit. And that's how you would set this guy up on XSplit. And once you're done with that, you just close this guy out here. And that's it. Alrighty now, moving on to vMix. Now vMix I'm actually using to also record. So ignore this over here. Uh, because that's gonna be a, a capture that's being picked up on another computer uh, just to make things a little bit easier for us. So on vMix, now the reason why I'm using vMix and I wanna make this clear, so vMix is a paid software, so it's unlike OBS and XSplit in that, well XSplit is somewhat, you can pay for it, but it's, it's not like the free software. This is actually a paid software. However, this software also has a 60 day free trial, which is freaking amazing. So if, if you need something, like for example, if you wanna do something a little bit more 
fancy, have multiple camera angles and things of that nature, and you want to be able to fade in and out, that's when you would bring use something like vMix. vMix is more powerful than OBS and XSplit, um, and it gives you the same abilities as OBS and XSplit. So, so vMix is kind of like that that upper echelon when it comes to actual training and videos and streaming and things of that nature. So I will go ahead and add this. That way, we, you would have it in the archives in case you want to see exactly how this is set up. So now using vmix whether it's on the free version or the paid version will not make a difference so so once you actually have it actually open here the actual mixer your audio mixer is located over here on the right so basically everything is going to be going into the master mixer so what you want to do here is just hit add input and when you hit add input we want to go down to the audio input so there's audio and then there's audio input Audio is basically if you want to add an audio file and add it into the actual stream or the video. But we will be clicking on audio input and then we're going to choose a device. So we're going to be choosing the Razer Siren Mini right there. And then we're going to hit, uh, hit OK here. You also have the option to mute in headphones, which means that whenever you're talking and, and talking during the actual stream, you will not hear it in the mic. Very, very useful feature. We can go ahead and enable that here and hit OK. Alrighty, and now we can see here that the mic has been added and we can already see that we're peaking. So in order to fix that, over here on the right hand side here, we can actually see the audio microphone. And we're going to go ahead and change the name here because I don't like calling it audio microphone. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the settings here. And for the name, we're going to change it to Razer Siren, similar to what we did previously. S-E-I-R-E-N. Uh, yeah, we know it's not charging. Sorry about that. So we're going to change the Razer Siren here and we're going to hit close. That way we know what it is. So now when you come over here to audio settings, you know that the Razer Siren is right here. So we know that it's a little bit too hot. So we now we're going to just going to come down here and just lower it a little bit. And that looks to be pretty good here. We probably want to go up just a little bit higher here. We want to see some yellow. So... So we lowered it by about negative five dB, which looked to be a little bit strong here. So this looks to be pretty good. We can go up slightly to about negative three dB. I think this is gonna be perfect, yeah. So this is great. So you can look there, we can see some yellow. The yellow is gonna mean that you're somewhere around negative 12, which is exactly what we want here. And that's how you would set this up on uh, vMix. Now you can go into the actual settings themselves to get a more ideal of what is actually looking like here. So, so we can look at and see here that it's actually okay here. We did see a little pop to the red. So we may wanna turn it down just a tad. Um, however, um, this actually looks to be okay, but we can lower it just a little bit here. So device volume, we can go like maybe 96 and see exactly how that looks. And okay, cool. So 96 looks to be exactly where we want to be here. So so we lowered it just by 4% here for the device volume. And that looks to be relatively good here. We're falling somewhere between the negative 12 and the negative 9 from exactly where we're sitting. And that's exactly what we would do for this particular software. Now you can turn up the gain or turn down the gain depending on how you want this set up. But it's but usually whenever I'm in VMAX, I only mess with the device volume itself or I just mess with it over here. As long as I see some green and yellow, I'm usually in pretty good shape. As long as you don't see any red and you see no peaking, then you should be fine. And that is how you set this up for me, Mix. Alrighty here, last but not least, we have iMovie and iMovie on an iPad Pro here. So what we're using here is we have a USB-C dongle. This is an Apple provided USB-C dongle that has a breakout to a USB port as well as a USB-C port for charging and an HDMI. We're not using the actual HDMI input, we're just using the USB to actually charge the Razer mic. And whenever it comes to Razer mic on an iPad, typically the best way to test it here is to go into iMovie and then just try to record some audio to see if it gets picked up. Now with iMovie, iMovie won't actually let you hit the mic unless there's some video that's already on here. So basically I just did a recording um, using the iPad of the razor here. That way we have a video here down here on our timeline. So now we're just gonna click on the mic here. And let me just scoot this up so you can see. Click on the mic here. And as you can see here, I'm going to touch the razor. And you can, you can actually see there that it is picking up just fine. So as you can see there, me touching it, it is picking it up. So that means that the Razer is supported on the iPad uh, just from testing purposes. Now, whether or not it says so on the actual documentation, that remains to be seen. But just from us testing it here, it looks like you can use it even on an iPad Pro. So if you want to do a stream on an iPad Pro, you could. So, so now we're just gonna go ahead and record some audio here. I'm sorry, that's so loud. 
Alrighty, this is a test here. We are using the iPad Pro with a uh, Razer Siren Mini plugged into a, a, a USB-C dongle. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Peter Piper Peck a Peck of Pickle Peppers. Testing one, two, three. This is an audio test. We are using the Razer Mini plugged into a USB-C dongle with a charging on the USB-C dongle. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Peter Piper Peck a Peck of Pickle Peppers. Testing one, two, three. And we're going to hit stop here. And then all you want to do now is just hit review. Alrighty, this is a test here. We are using the iPad Pro with a uh, Razer Siren Mini plugged into a, a, a USB-C dongle. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Peter Piper Peck the Peck of Pickle Peppers. Testing one, two, three. This is an audio test. We are using the Razer Mini plugged into a USB-C dongle with a charging on the USB-C dongle. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Peter Piper Peck the Peck of Pickle Peppers. Testing one, two, three. And we're going to hit all right and we're going to hit accept so that we save that because i want that <laughs> and that's it <laughs>